I wanted this more than anything I've ever wanted in my life. I wasn't doing it just for me, I was doing it for my family, I was also doing it for my community back home. I had never been around educated people, college educated people. Candace beat the odds. Not every student that we see here beats the odds. Higher education was never an option because no one in my family had ever gone. I wanted to be well educated. I wanted those critical thinking skills. I was able to come into Carolina and have a group of fellow transfer students who knew what it meant to be at a community college and then come to a university. And so we were all kind of in the same boat together. And we are all lifetime friends now. Those are my family members. Having that support system has gotten me through. She is just an amazing person. I could not ask for a better partner. I can have someone by my side that keeps me in check and <laughs> reminds me of my hard work. There were several times throughout my academic journey that I was threatening to throw in the towel and give it all up. And she would calm me down and say, hey, look, you've worked so hard. You're not gonna give up. I attribute my success to that, to the people who cared for me and helped me along the way. Seeing all of these people that knew I could do it, it helped me believe in myself. They pushed me to be a better person. This journey wasn't easy for any of us, but we still did it. We finally made it to the finish line. Even though I had on my cap and gown and I was with my friends, it did not feel real to me until I was walking in the stadium and I looked around and there were so many families there cheering us on. This is what I have worked for for seven long years. Like, this is the moment. My time here is done and I'm moving on to the next chapter. I was accepted to Columbia University and I will be pursuing my Master of Arts degree in higher and post-secondary education. I want to help students and their families navigate the college experience. She wants to help those students that she once was. Low-income students, first-generation students, the students who don't have those resources or that access. I'm supposed to do something important and I'm going to do it. <laughs>